Hello family, this is True Sugar and I want to come to you today with a quick video for my makeup basket for the next two weeks. Um, I wanted to kind of give you a good range of all the different items that I have. Um, over in this corner, I have some neutral nudie items that I want to play in. Sometimes I'm going to start off with fall. I have the Fit Me Loose Powder and Medium Deep. I have a, um, what brand is that? Um... Rock Republican, Rock and Republican um, face powder. I also have my Becca Stay Matte um, foundation I want to use up. I have my All Day um, CoverGirl Queen Collection foundation. I have a sample of the um, Estee Lauder Sandalwood foundation, and I have this Stay Matte foundation from Rimmel in the newer shade um, Warm Caramel that I want to play in. And then I also have my Fit Me Concealer. Alright. I also have my Everyday Palette that I really haven't been using that I want to get back in and use. I have three, four shadows from my Naked Palette. One from my Seal in the No. And then I have a ColourPop eyeshadow and then a little Femme um, Blush and Apricot. And then I have three bronzers from my Finish 7 in 2017. Um, challenge down here I have um, a let's see I have a palette from the um, Kardashian Kim the Kardashian line that I never really use well I have a NYX blush and terracotta and also one in um, Beach Babe I have the yes please palette from Colourpop and then I also have the rose gold goddess palette from Wet and Wild, the Fergie collection when it was around. I don't know if they still have it out. Then I have these La Femme blushes that I kind of put in my summer blush palette just to have. I still have my Ginger Snap blush from Smashbox. This is my um, what am I calling this? This is my subculture palette that I made for myself. I have since watched a few other videos and there are some shades that I can interchange or add in so I may do that some too. Um, and then I have my um, the Naked Heat palette that I made for myself um, while tr tr doing my five pans by fall as I just worked to see if I was gonna if I plan on purchasing the Naked Heat palette. On some lip options I had, um, I actually went and bought the Fuel Lipstick from Urban Decay because I couldn't find a pitchy tone just like it. That I liked the way that it looked on my skin without a lip liner or too much of a lip liner. I also have an older lipstick that reminded me of, uh, two older lipsticks that reminded me of the um, lipsticks in that collection. This one is in South Beach from Milani. And this one is in Bonfire by Milani. Please excuse my chip nails, friends. Then I have my single eyeshadow from the Five Pants by Fall in Penny Gash. And this is Heat from, um, excuse me, Gash is from the Urban Decay Collection. And Heat is from the NYX Single Collection. I also have this Milani Liquid Lipstick in, what color are you? In My Soulmate. I love this. It's the um, Metallics, but it's really pretty. Oops, glad nothing broke. Ugh. Okay, so we get those out of the way. Now, these two eyeshadows, um, one is called Victorian Ruby, and the other one is called um, hmm, American Rose. These also are in my five pans by five collection um, challenge. Just working out around the palette, working around the palette. But these are also tones that I found in my collection to, that I put in to help me with the challenge. Um, and I talk about those in a different video. The only three that I haven't talked about are um, Burgundy, Rust, and Rusted from the, my LaFemme blush collection. So I have those. Let's see. And I know I missed Jen my subculture palette already. I also quickly pulled out 
my immortal blush and my um shameless blush from my um rock and republic collection because i wanted to play in those posing as we go i also pulled out the um scorch and what's it called scorch and acaline liners that i picked up from the heat collection because i thought they were different and i know that i didn't have anything exactly like it in my collection so i picked those up um, I also went and I purchased the Milani Liquid Lipstick in Spicy. And I also picked up one in um, Hottie. One of these or both of these make my lip burn really bad. So on one of my days off, I want to check and see if I'm reacting to both of them. Because if I'm reacting to both of them, I need to take them back. But I do love these shades. I think they go well with the kind of colors that I like in my collection. I also pulled out this lip gloss in Bellini. It was a limited edition lip gloss. And I have such a hard time playing with it because I feel that it's really special. But I need to use it in my collection. I also have this um, lipstick and it's called... Um, oh, see, sorry for the other lipstick that's on it. But this is called Peach Poppy from Maybelline. Um, I discovered that I really like it with the K um, ColourPop K lip liner so that's been really cool to discover that in my collection i also have this wet and wild um primer i think i've gotten a good ways i got halfway through it so this has been okay and then of course i'm pulling back out my um mally um caribbean sea i think this is the yeah, caribbean sea eyeliner my urban decay this is the bait eyeliner and of course I have my NYX liners. And I'm gonna pull back out this um, Caramello um, liquid lipstick from Stila. Um, Yeah, so that's my current makeup basket. I am really trying to get back into my makeup baskets. Um, your girl has been struggling a little bit lately. Um, Yeah, two more items. I wanted to also pop in my NARS Cruella and my um Bite Beauty double sided lipstick. And one is in I think in Lion Lionberry and the other colors in Tangerine. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a blessed day.